Hi, it's me again. Um, I'm looking at the sailing simulator I own, Sail Away. I've got bad news for you to start off with, I'm afraid. It's £32 at the moment, which is pretty steep for a slightly shonky game written by one guy. I guess it's a specialist, guy, a, um, specialist game. Um, you can put it on a wish list and the thing will tell you, tell you if it goes on a sale, but uh, that might be after COVID-19, so that might not be much use. Um, let's go into it. Here I am in beautiful photorealistic Putney. You can tell, can't you? It looks just like it. The weather is doing a lot better than it was. The last time I played this, there was the same heavy rain everywhere in the world. So there must have been something wrong with it. Right now, this is a pretty close approximation of what we have in the real world. Bright sun, spring afternoon. So uh, let's have a go. So I need to get my sails up. You can do all this very easily with the keyboard, but where's the fun in that? So I'm going to click on these blue circles and try and climb to the front. Oh yeah, I was going to say, sorry, this is a yachting game really, not a dinghy sailing game at all. The closest boat in the game, I think, to a dinghy is this little one, this thing, it's called a Nordic folk boat. Uh, look, it doesn't even have a wheel. So I'm using this as the next best thing, but they have like big racing yachts and stuff. Right, uh, which of these is the main halyard? Jib halyard, well, let's do the jib first, why not? Jib halyard, click. Now what? Do I press a button? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can actually look at the halyard while at the, at the jib while I'm doing this. It's a bit hard to, it's, a bit, it's rather fiddly. Okay, jib. That's big. Whoops. Too much. Over tight. I don't know whether there's a choice of jibs on this boat. Who cares? Let's leave that for later. Right, main reef. No. Where was the halyard? I found it a minute ago. Here we go. Halyard. Oh, it's on the other side. So I can't see it. Right, let's see. Uh, main halyard. Can I look around while doing that? No, I no, don't think I can. Okay, main halyard. This is fiddly. Okay, that's the main up. I have the anchor down, so that's, everything's under control. Let's stand over here. I'm not gonna, <laughs> yeah, uh, right, okay. So, we're at anchor, so we should be exactly head to wind, but we don't quite seem to be. So let's see, if I click this, hopefully that takes the anchor up, and now I can steer with the keyboard. So let's bear away a bit. Oh, yep, that's working. How do I sit on the upwind side? Here we go. Okay, cool. Now I want to head out towards the sea. So, uh, where's my... Right, main sheet. Yeah, I'm going to use the keyboard for the main sheet because I need to be able to look around while I'm doing it. So let's let the main sheet out a bit. I've got a nice wind gauge here in the corner, which I guess I could get rid of if I didn't want it. Whoop. Oh yeah, I want to change position. There's got to be a keyboard way to do this as well, rather than clicking in the sky. Oh. <laughs> I'm just as bad in the game as I am in real life. Now you see the handling. You see I'm swerving back and forth? The handling is rather more realistic. We're not going to be... Where's the, where's the jib sheet? There we go. We're not going to be zooming along, I don't think, because just like in the real world, it's quite still today. That's more like it. Okay. Rather a lot of spray for this. How fast are we going? 3.5 knots, but never mind. Now, through the magic of the keyboard, I can actually climb up to the forestay and stand on the prow. And i uh, pretty sure I can still steer from where I'm standing now, but... Yeah, that's fine. Ah, the beautiful sights of London. You would mistake it for the real thing. So, yeah, the nice thing about this game is you can put on your... Let me zoom out the map a bit. You can tell I've got a long way to go. I won't be doing that today. Um, 
nice thing about this game, you can uh, you can set your own course. It takes, it's quite fiddly, but it's fine. I can do it. Um, you can set your own course. I've previously done sort of uh, UK to the closest part of the Americas, Newfoundland, I guess. Um, and you can set your autopilot and you can leave your boat sailing while you're not in the game. Um, and because it does its best, which isn't very good, but because it does its best to load the uh, load the weather. Sorry, just tr trimming. Oh, there, down there it is, down in the. Uh, there's a guide in the bottom right. I haven't seen that. Um, because the game does its best to load the weather from the real world. You can, I mean, it's not very accurate, but then that's probably true in real life. Um, you can look up the real weather patterns and try to anticipate which way the, you know, because if there's a huge depression coming over, it's going to take a day or whatever to get past you or two days. So you can do a little bit of tactics, stuff like that. Um, and then check in on it every so often. Tweak your sa tra sails, tweak your trim. How much trim is there on this one? Okay, I've got a traveller that I can adjust if I want to. That's probably a bit, a bit. I don't know. Is that overkill? That looks like overkill to me. What else have I got? The other boats. Oh yeah, look here, backstay, so I can bend the, uh, bend the mast if I want to. That seems to have done me no good at all. <laughs> what else have we got? Jib sheet. Well, I can read them here. Jib sheet, traveller. Oh, there's a lead car on the jib for tuning that. And then there's a nice handy. I mean, this is a bit of a bit of a cheat, isn't it? If you're supposed to be doing it yourself, but uh, if you struggle to eyeball these sails in in on a flat screen, here you go. The top of the main sail is too tight. Pull the traveller and ease the sheet. Pull the halyard. Anyway, okay, you get the idea. Uh, yeah. So you can, of course, do real time races with this. None of that. By smoke flare at the finishing line nonsense um, but it costs £35 which is too much you can have a real time race just around boys um, take a bit of fiddling about but you can do it again this is the closest thing probably to a dinghy that we've got tied in here GP conventional navigational GPS engine <laughs> what did these do show constellations so you can navigate or just stargaze i guess yeah so uh there it is you've got a chat option you probably can't see it because it's behind my face but uh i can i can choose to use the vhf mode where i can type a message and it only comes up for people who are within 20 miles again that's just kind of a bit of fun really uh crew ah you can crew on each other's boats not not sure there's much point well, that would be fun on a real-time race, actually. Wouldn't be much point in the um, long-distance races where you've got all day. But, yeah, it could be... If we can get crew working, two people in each of one of these would be quite good fun. It's just a shame it's so expensive. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, see ya.